hi guys oh, it's so weird <laughs> not weird i'm just i'm really grateful for the 200 subscribers and i just want to say thank you thank you thank you i want to do something i want to like i wish i could thank you all individually just thank you <laughs> i want to get those balloons i want to make you guys a cake i'm not really good at baking so i i want to buy one <laughs> a cute little cake that just says thank you 200 subscribers but honestly, I am grateful for the support. Uh, the comments have been really nice and supportive of this move and also my design skills. I hope you enjoy my apartment. I literally am obsessed with it. There's more things I want to do since I'm not staying. Like, there's no point. But I always love interior design. So when you guys say, oh, like, I really like it, like, that literally makes me think, should I become an interior designer? Like, probably not. But just thank you guys, okay? Um, I don't know. It's because I feel comfortable posting on here that I want to bring you guys this project that I have been working on for over a year. Uh, it's called Strawberry Milk Club. It's a website, but also like a brand and a community. Uh, I'll play you the little ad right now. So here you go. I really just want it to be a place kind of just like a safe haven where people can post different art, like writing, photography, drawings, even the videos just of them doing things that they love. So I hope you guys enjoyed the ad. Uh, I was working really hard on it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've been working on strawberry milk for like a year or so. And it's just a place that I, I initially made it because I wanted to showcase more of my writing and my photography. Like I have my blog there, of course, and my photography. And not to say that I, I'm not the realest realist me on my channel because I am but I feel like when I write it's also another real very real part of myself like every part that I put out to the world is an extension of me and it's a different piece of me in a way and that's what strawberry milk is it's a whole nother piece of me but it's also I want it to be a piece for everyone else like I have like I said the blog page photography page but also the gallery which is dedicated to you guys, to anyone who wants to just have their art, maybe they didn't feel comfortable posting it or they don't feel like it lives up to some standard or, but it's just, it's something that they've been passionate about or something that they love. And I wanted to just create a space where people could post it and just feel not judged, just feel welcomed. And yeah, there's no double tap, there's no, like dislike it's just a gallery for for consumption for the world to see and to just to digest um that's really what i wanted it to be i want strawberry milk club to be a silly club where people can just really just be themselves just be an extension of who they are on another in another way um i've thought about creating like a forum in case people actually want to like kind of talk um but for now, I think I want the gallery to just be a gallery, but obviously like this space isn't just for me. So like if there are ideas that other people have or like if they have that need, they want that discourse and like I will definitely create it. But obviously this little project is in its infancy, uh, but I, I'm really excited to premiere it with you guys and just premiere it in general. Uh, there's so many more ideas I have for it um, and for this channel. Do not think I don't have videos. I have not been just sitting on my butt. There are videos. This is kind of a lot of content and I've been a little bit busy, but I have videos. I promise. And my last day of work at the Space Needle is April 30th. So that is the day I am left to my own devices <laughs> and um, hopefully I'll be able to explore more of Seattle yeah I want to update you guys so um, as I said in my last update video I am moving to SAC but that decision 
was not as easy to come to as it might have seemed in my other videos. Um, believe it or not, I really, I really love this apartment. Like this complex, when I'll tell you guys it obviously when I leave, but this complex is so nice. Like quiet, affordable, and it's close to everything that I need. Like it's, I could not have asked for a better, like first time moving out on my own apartment in my life. Like I would stay, <laughs> I would stay. It's just, I don't know. I've really, I really have enjoyed it. And I love that I feel safe. Like there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel safe um, in my neighborhood. And I think that's really important because like in downtown Sac, I don't, I wouldn't say safe is my first word I would like, use, but here I really do feel that, but I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's not where I'm supposed to stay. And even though I've met some incredible people, like, I think I would have had to say goodbye to them eventually because I don't think Seattle is my last stop. Um, but I will be back to visit. I will 100%. But yeah, I don't even know if Sacramento is my last stop, to be honest. I don't think we have to think about our last stop. Like, I don't think we have to think that far in advance, or at least I'm not going to because it stresses me out. But um, yeah, I don't even, I'm not even 100% sure about Sacramento, but I just know I want to be by family. Uh, right now and I don't know what that looks like and I don't know what that means just yet but we're we're, we're taking strides we're, we're going for it so yeah I I'm just excited for all of it for YouTube for strawberry milk club for my life in general and to take you guys along with it as always so thank you again for your guys support and please check out strawberry milk club I think you guys will enjoy it um, I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are too. So, bye. Okay, hi guys. It, it's weird because it's been a minute since I've been in front of the camera, but I was talking about in my previous clip about how my decision to move wasn't as easy as it may have seemed with all the videos I was making, but um, it was hard because I was just trying to balance like I, I did miss my family obviously and I was trying to juggle that with the prospects of what staying in Seattle meant like new opportunities and just kind of like the unknown and I decided to go back to the family stuff I knew like the area I knew um, but once I got here I kind of realized that Seattle was more it was more me than I thought like the weather <laughs> I'm here now and I'm like, I don't know how I was born. I don't know how I lived here all these years in this heat. Cause the heat is horrible, but I don't know. And I also just like the city aspect of where I was living in Seattle. Like I was in, in the dense, I was in it, like buildings all around me. And I kind of like that. I feel kind of safe in when I'm in buildings, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think I want to go back to Seattle eventually. That's kind of what I'm working to. I'm gonna stay here for a few years just to save up um, and see what opportunity Seattle offers later. But being back in SAC, I realized like, yeah, it'll always be home, but I don't think I love like Sacramento <laughs> as a place to stay forever. And I've been away for a while just because I've just had a, couple, a rough, couple few months like leaving my job coming here I thought that I'd be able to get a new one kind of quickly and that didn't happen so I was really like in a low spot I was I wasn't no longer as independent as I was in Seattle and that was kind of a rude awakening for me because I'm proud of the independence that I had in Seattle and I like being dependent upon myself so that was hard to kind of it was hard to see that go when I came here because yeah I just future notice if you quit a job maybe you have something else lined up or like something because um, I'm working part-time right now still uh, I have like a social media contracting job which is good um, but just maybe have something more concrete like luckily for me like I have a good support system um, and most of the time when I got back I stayed here for a little bit and then I went straight to Virginia for a month to visit with my nephew 
And after, like, directly after I got back from that, I went to San Diego to help my cousin move there. So it's just been, like, back-to-back -back things, and now I'm finally, like, settled sitting down. Um, I actually have a job interview in, like, 45 minutes. Wish me luck on that. But, yeah, so now I'm trying to just be gentle with myself, not get too frustrated if um, my goals are take a little bit longer to achieve than I would like. Um, I think before I was also a bit hesitant about uploading because I think I really got my jump start in Seattle and I was nervous if I was taken away from Seattle <laughs> would that change like how interested people were in my content. I was nervous about that. I was nervous that nobody would really care now that I'm not um, kind of in Seattle but I think my apartment video is really helpful to people uh, for that time obviously like right now rent has like completely changed but I'm gonna still I still am apartment hunting right now so I'll accumulate lists and stuff like that and just kind of go through that whole process of moving and stuff when I do eventually get a place here um, so I'll share all the expenses and stuff like that. It's a bit different now because I have all the stuff from my previous apartment just in storage. So the only cost really, I'm not, I hope I don't have to buy too much new um, furniture and stuff. Knowing me, I already have been shopping for decor. I shop for decor all year round. I shop for things all year round. I just like to window shop because it's fun to see what's out there. But yeah, I've been trying to do a lot more thrifting, random, but yeah. So that's where I'm at right now if you guys have any questions um i'm always really open to answering anything a few of you guys have um reached out to me on instagram just with a few questions about um like seattle apartment hunting and stuff like that and i'm like more than happy to share about that and everything yeah 100 percent. so if you have any questions about the move here to sac or like just anything I, i'm my i'm here yeah so please check out strawberry milk club it is a very exciting project of mine it's like just my little baby and i'm so excited about it i know that it's probably going to change a bit over time like i, I can see it just evolving like this is just where it is right now and i really want your guys' feedback to see where what it could be and what it could turn into um so yeah it's gonna be here the link is gonna be below it's on the screen you can interact, see, check that out. I would love it. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon.